My name's Ben Ninley, and behind me is Paul Copper, one of our field technicians. And we work for Japanese Knotweed Limited. In this video, we're going to look at the treatment of Japanese Knotweed with herbicide. Herbicide is a very economical way of controlling this plant, but it's important to know that it does only control it or stop its growth. It doesn't remove the rhizome from the ground. This is important to note for developers, and if you are developing a site, you probably need to look at one of our physical removal techniques. By far the most common method of applying herbicide is via knapsack spraying equipment. Correct equipment, properly calibrated, will deliver a dose of systemic herbicide to the knotweed with accuracy. Tests have shown that knapsack spraying of herbicide is as effective as any other form of herbicide application technique. When a knotweed is growing amongst other non-target plants, trees or grasses, it may be suitable to change the application technique, and this is where stem injection or weed wiping come in. Stem injection of herbicide is carried out using a specialist stem injection gun which applies a dose of systemic herbicide into the hollow plant stem. Stem injection avoids damage to non-target plants and weeds. Wiping of herbicide onto leaf and stem is carried out to avoid damage to non-target plants or grasses. The same systemic herbicide is applied as would be using a knapsack sprayer or stem injection gun. There is no quick fix to herbicide treatment. Typically herbicide programs take three years in order to stop the plant from reducing new growth. This is the site we started treating last summer. Both sides of this bank were thick with knotweed, but within one year we have reduced the growth by around 90%. This site was thick with knotweed and we are now into the second year of chemical treatment. There is not too much knotweed left to see. There has been natural regeneration of weeds in this knotweed treated area. A specialist is needed to recognise the small amounts of Japanese knotweed growing that requires further chemical treatment. This site is in the third year of chemical treatment and this is the type of growth we expect to see. This is known as sublethal bonsai growth and is a stem and leaf growth of knotweed stand ravaged by herbicide. We would only expect to carry out a few more treatments on a stand like this before it stops producing new growth and we have a happy client. We hope you have found this video useful. For more information on our treatment methods, go to www.japaneseknotweed.co.uk. You can also contact us if you have a knotweed problem and need it removed at inquiries at knotweed.co.uk.